Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. It is Thursday. We have the Druid Craft Tarot on the table. You can see the fall here. Okay, so we have the fall, preparing to take a leap of faith. And then I have the mermaids and dolphins, and this is what I can see. Self-employment, protection, I can see father healing. And then we've got a helpful person, this card here. Oh, make a wish, father healing. Okay, so before we've even started, it's snowing by the way. I was awake most of the night listening to the rain outside. And um, <clears throat> I woke up to snow, it's snowing. Snow, snow, snow. We had that card come up yesterday, snow. Okay, <clears throat> so here's the cards um, that I'm going to be using and they're already telling me a little bit of the story. The fall. Looks like, I'm not sure what this is about, whether or not the Divine Masculine has to take a leap of faith into self-employment. He is protected and then there's a helpful person. Um, looks like they might be looking for a helpful person. Why would you speak like that? Um, someone wants to help you, think of whom it might be and initiate contact. And there's a group of feminines here that I believe maybe could help out this masculine. Anyway. Let's shuffle these cards. We shall have a reading today. Who's that that's just got up for some... Well, it's more brunch time. Oh, it's Lily. Okay. It's 11.37. Let's get these cards shuffled. And um, we can do a reading and see what's on the cards today. I was just listening to the song where it's, when it's all in my head, I'm thinking about it over and over again. Okay. Um, all in my head. Should we do a mind, heart, body and soul reading? Let's do it. Let's see what's in your head, Divine Masculine, then. But you're thinking about it over and over again. Okay. What's going on in your mind? The Ace of Cups. Well, that's love. <laughs> Going over and over again. It's overflowing here. Ace of Cups. What's going on in your mind, Divine Masculine? Well, there's a dolphin here who's like jumping for joy. Should we have a read of this card? And, uh, oh, I feel a little bit shaky. Would you like your palm read? I don't really do palm readings. <laughs> but uh, tarot cards is more my area. Okay, Ace of, um, Ace of Cups. Let's have a look. In the mind is uh, love. And it's overflowing, as you can see here, under the moon. Let's uh, find out what this card means. In the Druid Craft Tarot book, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is love, inspiration, fruitful dreaming and blessing. The beginning or deepening of a relationship, creative inspiration, time to open yourself to the many warm and nurturing relationships with which you are blessed. The gift of the Holy Grail, the blessing, inspiration and love of the goddess. So I'm feeling divine masculine. You might be feeling loved by your divine feminine. Okay, like extreme love coming your way. So it's time to open yourself to the many warm and nurturing relationships with which you are blessed. Okay, it's the gift of the Holy Grail, the blessing, inspiration and love of the Goddess. Well, that's what's going on in your mind. I just can't get you out of my head. It feels like, girl, you're loving is all I can think about. Let's have a look and see what the magical mermaids would like to say about what's, what's on your mind, Divine Masculine? Love. Watch your thoughts, <laughs> okay? It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you feel. <clears throat> what was that? Something just kind of a... It felt like a little, if you were to drop a little wooden ball on the table. I don't know what that sound was. <clears throat> Watch your thoughts. So... You're in your mind, by masculine, you're thinking about love. That, that's good. 
So you try not to allow negativity to come in. <sighs> I feel like this is what your divine feminine told you to do, was to watch your thoughts. You're doing what you're told. Why? Because your divine feminine suggested it. Watch your thoughts. In the mind space, divine masculine. I'm extremely shaky here. Okay. By drawing this card, you're alerted, and my ears have just started to ring, you're alerted to the extra importance of monitoring your thoughts. You have no neutral thoughts, and every one of them creates an effect in your life. So you're being asked to be vigilant in holding only positive thoughts. Divine Masculine screaming, I am! I am that I am. Interesting, I am. Most of us slip into negativity occasionally, and you may be no exception. However, you can undo the effects of negative thinking by recognising them and stating, I now counsel that thought and replace it with the following positive affirmation of my true divine desires. Then list the situations and attributes that mirror your godliness and goddessliness. So, seeing as we have the gift of the Holy Grail here, and it's talking about the Divine Masculine, um, listing situations and attributes that mirror his godliness, and also the Divine Feminine, the God goddess Venus. And during this important part of your life, you have the power to manifest your highest potential at the most rapid rate possible. Your thoughts are powerful, Divine Masculine. You're manifesting love. As you are being vigilant about your thoughts and it feels like you just really can't get uh, your connection uh, with the Divine Feminine off of your mind. I've got the Lover's Oracle here. So let's have a, a little card from the Lover's Oracle. Love does not know about yesterday and today. It is always new. Little reindeer on here. Love does not know about yesterday and tomorrow. Did I say love does not know about yesterday and today? Anyway. Love does not know about yesterday and tomorrow. It is always new. Just like the sun. And just like the snow. <laughs> I didn't even mean to say the sun. I meant to say the snow. You wake up to something new. There's snow on the ground. So we can wake up to something new, which will be the sun shining, which is the divine masculine feeling happy. Okay. So we're very much in the now, Divine Masculine, when it comes to your thoughts. Okay, what's going on in your heart? Let's move on. Let's have some coffee. Oh, belly's rumbling. Heart murmurs, heart rumbles. Let's have a look. Heart space, Divine Masculine. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, you've got the Ace of Cups, the offer from the universe, okay, for the Grail, unconditional love. What's going on in your heart is Ace of Pentacles, there's a bear coming out of his cave, and this is the offer of um, abundance, the legacy, to have the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles, that's pretty awesome. So here you are coming out of your cave. Let's have a read. Growling little growling bear here it's kind of like what was that murmur I just felt heard in my heart ace of pentacles financial gain material benefits and deep peace material benefits a job offer promotion or salary increase or an inheritance or windfall now when we first started, I saw the self-employment card, <clears throat> like the Divine Masculine has to take a leap of faith into this, um, believing that he is capable and competent. Um, interesting, I felt like it was not only to provide for himself, but also to provide um, for others, and I meant more as a collective whole. So I feel like some money may have come in, or an opportunity, and it's kind of um, perked the Divine Masculine up. 
So material benefits, a job offer, a promotion or salary increase or an inheritance or windfall, a new contract or a career change could all go well. In a relationship, a situation that is well grounded, secure, peaceful and enduring. That's interesting. And that's what the Divine Masculine's uh, wanting. A well grounded, secure, peaceful and enduring relationship. That's what his heart's craving for. Okay, let's put you there. Let's move these just down for a little bit. Mermaids and dolphins. What would you like to say regarding the Divine Masculine's heart space? Pay attention. Hmm, what was that murmur? Notice repetitive signs and inner guidance as they can yield valuable information. So, Divine Masculine, you're being urged to come out and to embrace your uh, uniqueness. Pay attention to your heart. Let's hold this up. Heaven is giving you important messages and by drawing this card, you're asked to pay extra attention to them. Notice conversations you overhear, comments made to you by others and inner feelings and thoughts. Look for common threads among the signs as they are forms of guidance to help you manifest your divine purpose and desires. It's not your imagination that heaven is sending you signs and divine guidance. Anytime you hear or feel something three or more times, especially within a short, period, a short time period, it's information worthy of your attention. These signs also give you feedback about your current belief system, since your thoughts attract mirroring experiences. Use these signs to heal beliefs that dishonour you and swim in the direction that your guidance points you. You're following your heart here, Divine Masculine, or you're being extremely nudged to. Okay, these signs give, also give you feedback about your current belief system since your thoughts attract mirroring experiences. And we were told here to pay attention and watch our thoughts. Let's have a look at the Lovers Oracle for the heart space. If each time I thought of you were a flower, I could walk in my garden forever. Oh, Divine Masculine, that's quite beautiful. Can't seem to get the Divine Feminine off of your mind. Thinking about her all the time. Your heart's blossoming. If each time I thought of you were a flower, I could walk in my garden forever. What's going on in the physical then, Divine Masculine? Why do we hear a doggy like, but well, it's not even barking, it was like kind of a agitated, rowling out there. Okay, what's going on in your physical then, Divine Masculine? <sighs> lonely, I'm so lonely, I have nobody to call my own. Okay, so Divine Masculine might be feeling a bit lonely. The only reason, well, that song comes through, but I could see this here on the front cover of the book. Don't judge a book by its cover, okay? How are you feeling? What's going on in your physical? But it says you're happy. So don't jump to conclusions and um, don't judge a book by its cover. So I feel like even if on the outside it could look, well, it could be either way. Either the Divine Masculine looks happy and he's quite lonely inside and he's kind of really watching his uh, mood. So this is a uh, fake it until you make it <clears throat> kind of energy, which is good for a certain period of time because it helps you to build your confidence to act as if. Um, well, it's good to act as if all the time, but it's not good to kind of say that you're happy when you're not. But... Um, it definitely gets you into the habit of watching your thoughts and <clears throat> paying attention to um, to what is actually going on within you. 
So we have the Sun card when it comes to what's going on physically with you. <clears throat> it's stating that you're happy. Okay. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. By these cards here, I would say that you are extremely happy, Divine Masculine. Um, maybe lonely, but the energy of unconditional love plus, um, I feel like, an, ex an acceptance of um, the legacy, whether that's you actually taking it in the physical, I feel like internally you've accepted this. So the message is you are free. <clears throat> In the physical, it says you are free. To express the radiant essence of your being. Joy and creation flow from you like the rays of the sun. How awesome, Divine Masculine. The key words are happiness, contentment, success, energy, wonder, lucidity, optimism, joy, freedom, fruition, creative expression. The meaning, a creative and joyful phase in your physical life. The sun has come out. I have snow. Do you have sunshine today? Okay, so let's go back to the meaning. Projects that have been developing may now come to fruition and you will have the clarity and the focus to make a success of them. That's awesome. You have the clarity and focus to make a success, Divine Masculine, um, on these projects that you have been developing. Full creative potential being, re being realised in the world. I was actually going to say being released in the world. Being realised in the world. Liberation from everyday worries and constraints and freedom to be yourself. Oh, it's a happy day. Okay, let's have a look at what the mermaids would like to say. Mm. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you think of whom that might be an initiate contact. And I do feel like it's a strong possibility it could be you, Divine Feminine, seeing as you're on the Divine Masculine's mind. Um, consistently, continuously. Pay attention. We saw this. It's a collective of Divine Feminines. Helpful person. And I feel that this is the Divine Masculine. Uh, something's changed in his circumstances. He's got his mojo back. And... Um, well, he's feeling uplifted. He's feeling inspired, which means that he is in spirit. He is inspirited. Okay. Not by alcohol. No. This is a natural high. Helpful person. So in the physical, time masculine. It's looking very uh, positive. And he could be looking for a helpful person. So someone wants to help you, think of whom that might be, and initiate contact. There's a person who can help you reach your desired outcome. You're probably already, oh sorry, you've probably, you're probably, I was going to say you're probably already thinking of them, but you've probably already thought of whom this person might be. Or it could be a new person coming into your life whom you'll soon meet. Be open to receiving help from others. Strong people learn the importance of delegating and working as a team. And this may be a time for you to learn these vital life lessons. Vital life lesson in the physical here for you, Divine Masculine. Working alongside your Divine Feminine, working as a team. You are not enemies. Um, you are a team in mission. And I feel like both of you are on some kind of mission and it's about to come together. So be open to receiving help from others. Strong people learn the importance of delegating and working as a team. And this may be a time for you to learn these vital life lessons. So be sure to voice your needs and ask for assistance. With the help of others, you're more able to manifest your divine purpose and desires. Wow. 
And it's kind of like that's where you come into the equation, Divine Feminine, but you've already been in the equation. It feels like you're very much part of the, well, you're definitely the yin, so he's yang. Let's have a look at what the, lo lo the laurels, okay. The lovers oracle would like to um, say regarding the physical space of the Divine Masculine. Oh, this is lovely. Okay. Want to know what the Divine Masculine is thinking, feeling, planning? For hearing my thoughts, understanding my dreams and being my best friend. For filling my life with joy and for loving me without end, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. And that's a beautiful message in the physical to receive. Someone's feeling lucky. They want to be. It's just like they bagged themselves uh, the prize of a lifetime. For hearing my thoughts, understanding my dreams and being my best friend. For filling my life with joy and for loving me without end, I do. Let's have a look at uh, what's going on spiritually with the Divine Masculine. I feel like there's this connection. He's being guided with um, he's being guided with angelic guidance, archangel guidance. Let's have a look and see what the cards want to say. What's going on with the divine masculine spiritual connection? Oh, he's balanced. Look, masculine, feminine energy. It's um, temperance. This is a card the other day that came out, and it felt like it was an angel who was balancing alchemy. This is a card of alchemy. There's the rainbow in the distance. Um, you have to be tempered before you're allowed to um, go on to claim that happily ever after. Alchemy here, the blending of masculine and feminine energies. Let's read Temperance. What's spiritually going on? Allow inner and outer masculine and feminine. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Allow inner and outer masculine and feminine to blend within you to give birth to your creative self. Fluency between worlds, creativity, harmony, peace, alchemy and magic. It's a kind of magic. Hit the snow. Harmony and successful creative endeavour. You may be in a position to restore harmony among competing factions. Maintaining a feeling of deep peace may be sufficient at this point. I feel like that is vitally important. Maintaining a feeling of deep peace may be sufficient at this point. Seeing as we have watch your thoughts, pay attention, and then it's very much about asking for help. There are people that are wanting to assist you. Divine Masculine. The waters of inspiration and contentment flow freely between your conscious and unconscious selves. There is nothing in particular that you need to do. Just carry on following the flow. Those nudges. Trust in your gut feelings and um, tapping into your emotions as an indicator of where you are at the moment. Okay. Whether or not you're in alignment or um, some areas are still out of alignment. I feel you're very much aligned, Divine Masculine. You've got the hang of this now. Okay. Mermaids and dolphins regarding the spiritual side of things. <clears throat> Morning affirmations. Oh, I love it. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. This is really interesting because the Divine Feminines have been actually saying positive affirmations before they go to bed to open up the gates of manifestation. And then when they're waking, it's like whatever they, the intention that they put out there, it manifests the next day. Divine Masculine, it seems that you're waking up on a positive note. And I feel it has something to do with a song because I did see music for manifesting. And I feel like you might be waking up and actually putting the radio on and kind of seeing what song 
is on the video paying attention to the lyrics, understanding that, you know, it's guidance on what kind of, um, what the energy is like for the day. Morning affirmations. This is so good to have this card. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. I feel like the Divine Feminine is doing it in the evening. Divine Masculine doing it in the morning. Unless you're picking up on the Divine Feminine's affirmations in the morning. This card asks you to begin each day with positive intentions and affirmations. And I do strongly believe that you are. Before arising from your bed, spend a few moments thinking about your desires. Who's the first person that you think about when you wake up? What's the first thing that you think about when you wake up? Your divine feminine. Don't worry about how to bring them into physical form. Just allow yourself to imagine that they've already manifested. So divine masculine, I'm feeling in the mornings you might be imagining that your divine feminine's there and you're waking up on a happy note. It's keeping you going. It's keeping you flowing. Okay, let's just reread this part without me interrupting <laughs> with an important affirmation. This card asks you to begin each day with positive intentions and affirmations. Before arising from your bed, spend a few moments thinking about your desires. Don't worry about how to bring them into physical form. Just allow yourself to imagine that they've already manifested. Then make one or more positive affirmations relating to your desires. When you open your eyes, write down these affirmations. It's a good idea to keep a pad and a pen on your nightstand. During the day, look at the affirmations and say them mentally or verbally. I would not be surprised if this is the Divine Feminine working her magic or alchemy. You're receiving her affirmations and... Uh, it feels like you could be pondering on those most of the day. Um, maybe the words that you speak, the thoughts that you're thinking. Very positive, and I feel they could be flowing um, through your own Divine Feminine energy, which um, I feel is connected to actually your Divine Feminine in the physical. Lover's Oracle. Okay, we've got a couple of cards for the Lover's Oracle. Hmm. What's going on spiritually? Now, I did feel like there was this inner sadness, okay? We'll leave it. It's just gone to the floor because we're not to focus on it. Because the Divine Masculine's energy here is really focusing on being positive. But spiritually, this is what's going on. The ultimate sadness is to go through life without loving well, you're definitely loving upon something, someone, on your thoughts, Divine Masculine. So the ultimate sadness is to go through life without loving, but it would be almost equally sad to leave this world without ever telling those you love that you do love them. And that is the uh, push for the Divine Masculine to um, not take this to the grave. It'll be ultimately sad so he's found love but it's uh that's awesome but it's quite sad that you can't actually express to uh, those that you do love that you do love them there's that nudge from the divine divine masculine and we have another card within you i lose myself without you i find myself then i strive to be lost again <laughs> oh my oh my So the Divine Masculine finds himself within you. So within you, I lose myself. Without you, I find myself. And then I strive to be lost again. So that he can find you all over. All over again. Okay. So there's this energy of um, the loss, but then also finding yourself, the happiness. <laughs> it was a little bit like a, a, a bit of a habit. It's kind of like when you get used to the missing. What will you do when you no longer miss each other? 
because you'll be together. Okay. Let's have a look at the Enchanted Map. Look how it's all like mixed into one story. <laughs> That's organised chaos so you know. <laughs> Moonlight, card number 51. The moon energy has been coming up quite a lot, make itself um, apparent that we need to pay attention to the energy of the moon. I believe it was the new moon yesterday. Okay, Moonlight. Your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical and analytical. Follow it. Moonlight beckons. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. Resist second-guessing yourself, for your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. Wow. I believe they give us an affirmation. I'm not sure. Is it this book or is it the energy? No, it's not this one. It's the energy deck. So let's get a card from the energy deck. And they will give us an affirmation for the energy of the day. Feel this energy of throwback Thursday. Uh, remember it. Do you remember when we fell in love? We were young and innocent then. Someone's doing some remembering. Remembrance. Okay, energy cards. We have victory. I have two cards. We have victory. And then we should check out this one in a moment. 28. I feel like this is guidance for the Divine Feminine. Success and achievement. This card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way and you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. Accomplish. Yes, that's right. Accomplished. <laughs> Hasn't got an ed on the end. <laughs> you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. The achievement may be a great outer success or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort toward. Enjoy this time of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. I said that. The laurels are a call. <laughs> Not the lovers. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes. But often there may be, let's repeat that, but often there may still be inner work to do. And that's what I, I want to say, Divine Feminine, acknowledge how far you've come and the work that you've done and you are accomplishing uh, success and everything that your heart desires. But we have to acknowledge this part. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level now. So that kind of don't judge a book by its cover. The Divine Masculine may be coming across as being very jolly, but there is still some inner healing to take place. Let's get you the affirmator. 
divine feminine. I am, I am, we can say that. It says I'm, let's put I am achieving great things within myself and in the world. Even the doggy agrees, see? You sure are, girl. Okay. I am achieving great things within myself and in the world. I see myself as a success in many wonderful ways, even now. Wow. It's that part at the end, even now. <clears throat> I feel like things are evening out between you and the Divine Masculine. There's harmony, there's balance, there's bliss. Um, there's an acceptance and there's a deep resonance towards each other. The Divine Masculine is feeling a strong resonance towards you, Divine Feminine. He's remembering. Let's have a look at this other card. Daughter Spirit. 32. Let's see where we're off to. Spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. This door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity the source of all true value and power. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential, for the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive more aware of spirit's presence, or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit, and to the magic and power of your true identity. And I feel that you're already aware of this Divine Feminine, and it's an awareness that's been uh, brought um, forward onto the Divine Masculine. Affirmation. I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me. Wow. Every step of the way, guys. Daily guidance from your angels. Do you want to build a snowman? <clears throat> Daily guidance from your angels. What do you desire? Please tell. <laughs> you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they rush into your life as if by magic. So what do you desire? Do we have to ask? It's the last card. Yes, you do have to ask for help, assistance and for your de desire to be brought to you. This card comes to you because you've been waiting for external signs of what you should do next. The angels say that the answer comes from inside of you. You must decide what you want before anything can change. Let's repeat that. You must decide what you want before anything can change. Carve out time to meditate upon your true heart's desires. And know that you desire, you desire the best, as we all do. <laughs> Carve out time to meditate upon your true heart's desires and know that you deserve the best, as we all do. And we all desire the best as well. Okay, deep inside we do. Additional meanings for this card. 
Use affirmations and positive visualisations to manifest your desire. Clarify your desires. Release any guilt or fear regarding asking for what you want. Asking you shall receive. Okay, Mother Mary. Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be Let it be If it's meant to be, it will be And it, it feels like it wants to be <laughs> Let's end with the Mother Mary <clears throat> Oh, this is lovely. Okay. Our Lady of Growth, Assured. Would you like some assurance? Divine Masculine. Card number 13. There is a beautiful manifestation which you have long desired coming to fruition now. It is important to the well-being of your own soul and the healing of our world that you have patience and allow this birth to happen at the best timing. If it happens too soon or too late, <clears throat> if it happens too soon or too late, there will be unnecessary complications. I will take care of the timing and as you trust me, you will find the birth of your dream happens naturally. And with great joy. There is something that you are considering embarking upon. Either a new project or taking a chance on a new interest or social connection or even a new philosophy. Perhaps it is letting go that will lead to a new start. The Oracle of Our Lady of Growth Assured comes to tell you that your success is already determined in heaven. What needs to be now is your continued effort and prayer, surrender and patience on the physical plane and most importantly, your positive expectation without any attachment as to how it will happen. That your situation is working out and will manifest perfectly. If we want to manif manifest something truly special in our lives, Something that perhaps is a little out of the ordinary or contrary to what most people think is possible, then the blessing of Our Lady of Growth Assured is very helpful. To manifest, we start with the inspiration or impulse from our heavenly divine self. That translates into inspired ideas, then thoughts and perhaps plans. As we add our heart and passionate energy into the mix, we generate the fire we need to eventually act on opportunities in the physical world so that our manifestations can be complete and successful. The more extraordinary our desired manifestation, the more it is likely to challenge mass beliefs or tip our world upside down, even in the most wonderful way. And the more likely it is that there will be delays or difficulties with our manifestation. That is because we will be bumping up against some powerful opposing forces. The negative expectations of the world can cause even the brightest spirit to slump from time to time, losing energy and forgetting to trust in the unconditional love and incredible power of the Divine Mother. So when this happens, our manifestation process might get a little bit bumpy, hitting some snags here and there. If we come back to our centre, using the healing process for this oracle, we speed up the process again, getting back on track. Our Lady of Growth Assured comes to tell us not to give up. She tells us to have patience and work on feeling open-hearted and open-minded about our manifestations and how they come into being. 
we work on feeling the energy of what we want to create. So, if it is abundance, for example, we work on cultivating that feeling of abundance as best we can, all the while remaining open to the manifestation of our intentions without attachment as to how, when or what it will look like. She tells us not to turn away in fear of failure, especially as when this oracle comes to us, our manifestation is actually not far away at all. There is an expression that it is always darkest before the dawn. This is true with the manifestation process. Often when all seems most hopeless and signs of future life of our desires are apparently non-existent, it is the moment before the birth. We must keep our faith and not require that we see all in advance or even that we have proof along the way that something is happening. It can be hard to trust in such circumstances, but if it helps bring your dreams to life, then it is worth the effort. The Oracle of Our Lady of Growth Assured brings you help in trusting your process now and a message that your desires are coming to life. Trust and know in your heart that your growth is assured and that your dreams are manifesting at the perfect time and in the perfect way. I don't want some half-hearted love affair. I need someone who really cares. Let's do the healing process and affirmation. Close your eyes and imagine or perceive a garden that is thriving with life. There are new shoots and mature plants. The garden is well balanced and healthy. You notice a woman in lovely robes seated on the ground next to a garden bed with a child who is enjoying playing in the soil. At the child's hands there is a fresh green baby shoot sticking up in the soil. The child looks at it and begins to tug at it, trying to make it grow faster. The woman laughs and gently touches the child's hand. The child stops tugging and waits. Together, they watch the shoot as it grows. It matures in its own time, with the loving care of the lady and the attention of the child. Notice if the plant stays young or grows into a mature plant. Notice if it has leaves or flowers or fruit. Just be with what happens in your creative visualisation. When you are ready, Say the following affirmation aloud to complete your process and repeat it three times. Let's do it. My spiritual growth and heart's desire manifest in the perfect time and the perfect way, assured of success by the Divine Mother's grace. My spiritual growth and heart's desire manifest in the perfect time and the perfect way, assured of success by the Divine Mother's grace. My spiritual growth and heart's desire manifest in the perfect time and the perfect way, assured of success by the Divine Mother's grace. You've got this. You've got this. One hundred inspiring quotes. Okay, let's have a few then. Only look back to see how far you've come. That took me to reminiscing. Only look back to see how far you've come. How much you've grown and evolved. Let the fire inside of you burn brighter than the fire around you. And we've got one more card here. Let the fire inside of you burn brighter 
than the fire around you. Final message. You are kind, clever and brave. And that's why you've been offered um, this holy mission. That's all I can say, this gift. Because you are kind, clever and brave. And do not forget it. Bottom of the deck, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Yeah. Guys, have yourself a fantastic Thursday. I will catch up with you soon. Okay, take care. Much love. Bye for now.